In this video, we're going to look at how to create a new model number. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple different places that you can go for this. Um, one is if we go in here to the serialized management, you'll notice a, a link here for model numbers. And this gives you the ability to uh, go in and search for model numbers. Um, you can change uh, information about the model numbers. Um, and you also have a link here to add a new model number. So there's a couple uh, different situations that come up and, and it could happen over in service. It could happen in sales. Um, but essentially we're trying to add a unit to the system and we don't have a model number to, to put the system, to put the item in. And so we have to create one. Now, while we're on this model number control, if we select the, the model number itself, you'll notice that we actually have uh, setup options, images that we can add for the model number, um, default field values that we can put in here. We've got a, a document viewer that you can attach, uh, service bulletins and uh, sales literature, all that kind of stuff to a model number. Um, you can also set up code colors and vendor order codes. Um, so that not only do you have the model number, but you have all the different order codes that go along with each of the different uh, settings. Um, and then you also have rebate information that can be uh, added to this model number so that when we put the item on a deal, we the system can automatically set and bring in a bunch of different uh, options. So the the model number control itself has a lot of information on it that you can use to expedite quite a few functions inside of Lizzie all the way down to, to actually utilizing the CRM system and having access to your literature directly from the, the model lookup. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and close this control for a second. Um, and I also, uh, what, what we're going to do is we're going to add a unit from the, the serialized section, but the exact same process works no matter where we're at. So right now we're in the model number control. So if I were to hit add new model, you'll get a, a form up here that looks like this. Um, it's basically asking me for the manufacturer, the unit type, uh, model description, model number, name, um, any engine information that we want to add in here. Um, but this is the, the, the primary or, or one of the ways that we can add a model number. But this is where we're adding the model number up front. We, you know, we, we're kind of preempting the, the need for it later and we're trying to get the information added in. The, the other way to do this is that I'm actually going to add a unit. So I'm going to come up here to add a unit. And again, this doesn't matter if I'm doing it from serialized or if I'm doing it on a service ticket. The flow is exactly the same. So let's say that I go in here and I start typing in a, a, a model number and the system doesn't find it. And so at this point, I need to add the model number to the system. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select add new model. And when we do this, you'll notice this is a little bit different screen because I was in the process of adding a unit, not a model number, but in the in this process of adding the unit, it, I determined that I also need to have a model number. So all of the fields that you saw on the previous screen for setting the manufacturer, the type of unit, the model name, model number, all that stuff, it's all available right here so that I can create this model number from either location and, and get the unit in as quickly as possible. So, and then once you get it, get the unit in, you can then go back and modify additional model number information directly from the model number control that we were looking at a moment ago. So just keep in mind that the, the model numbers in Lizzie are a lot more in depth than just creating a model number. Um, all units have to have a model number. Um, and then all of the additional information that you add about that model number is up to you, whether you want to get uh, detailed with it or just keep everything at a really basic level.